Kia ora. My name is uh, Taina Herza and I am the Digital Content Manager for Auckland Museum. Um, for the last 20 years I've been creating and producing content for online um, and over that time I've been focused mainly on sport, music and culture. Um, I've seen a lot of content that flops, um, I've seen a lot of content go out that has very little impact, um, but I've also seen content that really flies and there's a pattern to that success of content. Um, for the past 18 months, I've been working with Auckland Museum, and like many of the other organisations here, we've been going through a period of great transformation. Um, we've got a lot of high expectations on us going forward, which means we have to hit some pretty big numbers, so it's really important that our content is content that connects. We're also a traditional cultural organisation, so that means that we're going to have to challenge a few of the processes that we have and break a few rules. So, what's the secret pattern? Um, it's not really that secret, but basically we need to talk to people, real people, in ways that they understand about things that they're actually interested in and in a voice that's real. That's it. It's that simple. End of talk. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so let's break that down a little bit further. So we want to talk to real people about things in ways that they understand. So this is where you could go into audience personas and segmentation and try not really get that nailed. But to be honest, personas are actually 99% bullshit. They're <laughs> developed by people like me, pretending to be someone I'm not, and then fooling myself that I can actually have an outside perspective of the organisation that I'm working within. So they're misleading and they're full of bias. And if they are actually accurate, they're still going to pull you in all these different directions. So your content is going to wind up being really generic and safe, and it's going to be low impact. So when you are developing content, you can speak simply to one audience and it'll hit all your others. Just keep in mind 10 to 12 year old girls. So bear with me. 10 to 12 year old girls are open-minded. They are really curious about their world and where they are in their life, they're just about to sort of figure out who they are and they make their own identity. So they're really looking for connections. They're also looking for um, amazing discoveries that they can share with all their friends and all their families. So, they're dying to share cool stuff. Um, they live in a world that's really bright, high energy, noisy, full of distractions, and 12-year-old girls are utterly ruthless. So if you can get them, if you can catch them with your content, you'll hit all your segments because your, your content will be catchy. It will be understandable. You won't have any jargon in there, and it might even be actually cool. So speak simply. Right. Speak simply about things people are interested in, so that just might find the most amazing thing. This is the most easy one of all. Whatever it is you have to talk about, find out what's the most amazing thing about it, and then just go with that. You've got, if I'm on my phone, you've got less than one second to grab my attention. With online content, you lead with your knockout punch. Everything you talk about should have something amazing about it, and if it doesn't, easy, don't talk about it. So talk simply about the most amazing thing in a voice that's real. And this is where it gets hard, particularly for traditional cultural organisations like ourselves. There can be no dictatorships when it comes to online content. No one person or small team can possibly represent the voice of an organisation. We are the kaitiaki of treasures of civilizations. For Auckland Museum in particular, we represent the cultural heritage of one of the most diverse cities on earth. There is simply too much scope. And yet within our organisation are really passionate people who are knowledgeable and they're full of wisdom and they're making more marvellous discoveries every single day. And within that group of people, there are natural communicators who are just burning to share. They are our champions. And they're not hard to find because we all follow them on Instagram and their Twitter just lights up. So we need to find our champions and we need to give them the keys, we need to open the door, we need to support them, amplify them, guide them, have their back, but understand that they are the authentic voice of our organisation and they will make real connections. Yes, it's risky, but just be cool about it. Because when trouble strikes, or if trouble strikes, your values will get you through. Now, all of us here work for organisations that have good values. We're not selling soft drinks, we're not selling high interest loans. So stick to your values and just let them rain down. Now, I actually want to give you an example. Um, so a couple of years ago, I was um, managing the online um, the social media campaign for Red Peak Flag, some of you may remember. 
Now, Red Peak Flag was developed as a symbol of respect and acknowledgement, bringing together the diversity and the celebrating the origins of our people and our land. And then we had our Godwin's Law moment in the Parliament of New Zealand on national television. <gasps> It was twisted into this grotesque symbol of utter hatred, and we were honestly, swear to God, heartbroken and angry, so angry. How could they have the decency to do, the lack of decency to do that? So what did we do? We remembered our own mantra, stay cool, stay cool. We took a moment and we remembered our values. Now, Red Peak Flag was written, basically, or designed as a love letter to Aotearoa. So this is what we responded in. No words, just this one image. And this is the image that actually went around the world, and this is the image that still endures today as a powerful symbol for people that really felt a connection with that flag. So, <coughs> excuse me, turn my page. Right, so, basically, speak simply about the most amazing thing. Be real and be cool. It's, we need to share our stories, and to do that, I believe we need to empower our people to share our stories. We need to put our wisdom into the world so that we can all understand it a little better and find our place within it. I really honestly believe that this is our duty and to fulfill that duty, I think we're gonna to have to break a few rules. Thank you. <laughs>